Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, the final chapter in the race pumps, fuel pump evaluation. I am back from the track. I had a great weekend. It was actually a super weekend for me. I uh, won my class. I won pro bracket racing, which is the, the no box uh, class. And uh, the car ran extremely well. I did have a few technical problems, but nothing to do with the race pumps fuel pump. Um, <laughs> the car uh, ran as quick as 1024. And uh, uh, towards the end of the uh, afternoon, the track was uh, greasy, at least for me. And uh, well, I had to uh, uh, you know, raise the dial up because it was uh, spinning and it wasn't predictable enough for me. But I managed to sandy bag and, well, you know how it goes. Play the uh, game at the stripe and, uh, well, I won. So that was pretty good. But here's the lowdown on the race pump's fuel pump. I made the modifications to the fuel system and I uh, put the uh, sumped gas tank in and I'll show you a quick shot of that if you can see it right there. So I got the sump gas tank put in. Well, I did it uh, with the large vent, uh, number dash eight, and uh, had a ret I put a return line in. So I had the original lines, original line, and then I added a second return line. I don't know if you can see it right up there. I added a second return line, uh, or a second line, which is the return line. Now, this is exactly what I did with the uh, race pumps, fuel pump, to make it work to my system. Hold on, let me just open the hood. Unfortunately, I can't open the hood too wide because of, uh, well, the scoop. Anyway. Okay, so this is what I did. Let me get a friggin' light here. Now, there's the race pump's fuel pump right there. Okay, as you can see, what I did was I uh, put uh, silver or foil tape around it to act like a uh, heat barrier. Also, I put, uh, put it on the black block. Anything that could... Uh, um, soak up the heat. I uh, lined it with the foil. And uh, there is my Barry Grant four port uh, fuel pressure regulator. It's a deadhead type regulator. And see what I did there? I don't know if you can see it well. But um, off the eighth inch gauge port, I uh, put the return line. So I threaded the inside of the eighth inch um, uh, uh, eighth inch pipe to number six AN. I threaded that and put in a, a bolt, a brass bolt, and drilled it uh, with a 60 thou, a 460 thou hole. And then I, I got the return line going down and uh, going back to the tank. So what I used was the uh, actual, the old pickup that uh, goes through the sending unit. I, I did that. Uh, that's where the return line goes into. And of course, uh, the pickup is at the bottom and the vent is at the top driver's side corner towards the axle. Uh, well, actually on the side of the tank, but anyway. So uh, this, this worked great. My fuel pressure stayed at between six and a half and seven through the whole run. Uh, I noticed that the uh, gauge, fuel pressure gauge, shows between six and a half to, six and a half, yeah, six and a half to eight. So it, uh, it moves around a little bit, bounces up and down, but nothing major. Nice and steady when it's uh, higher RPM. And uh, I had no vapor lock issues, no hard starting issues, nothing. Everything was solved with the uh, return line on there, and, and it worked quite well. I thought I needed to get a uh, bypass uh, regulator, which is a hell of a lot more, and I didn't want to spend another three, $400. So... Uh, this thing works. It works good. So I'm going to get some more of that wrap 
the, the sleeving and put on the other lines as well and uh, then then it'll be complete but uh, uh, I noticed that uh, the air fuel was uh, going as lean as 13.1 AFR on the gauge so um, the time tickets were showing that the charge is pretty good to the 8th then after the 8th it starts to lean mo out more so I'm going to go up one more in jet size and uh, then you know leave it at that and uh, that should be finally it and then I'm going to put the power valves in the front or uh, in this case they're obviously on the passenger side but that's the side that the O2 sensor is on so right now I've got a plug in all uh, uh, both carburetors front and back uh, but I'm going to change the power valve so I can have it at least run clean but I needed to know what the air AFR was uh, jetted uh, with plugs in it and, and then I can uh, shoot for the same with uh, with power valves but anyway long story short it ran excellent the pump does work if uh, you follow um, my my recommendations I'm sure you're going to get the same results so the recommendations are as follows make sure you have a large vent in your tank um, half inch line size and make sure you filter the inlet to that vent what I ended up doing was putting one of those um, fuel socks over the end of mine well that's all really I had right and but it worked out great so uh, I put that on and uh, I've got a sump in bottom but of course you get all that when you have a uh, fuel cell and uh, well, I got the return line, and I, in my case, I used the uh, original um, pickup that's in the uh, tank that goes through the sending unit. So that's what I used for my return. I run a half-inch return, and at the carburetor, I have a dead head. Uh, in this case, it's a four-port, but you could have a two-port. But uh, if you have a gauge port or you drill a hole uh, in one of the uh, plugs, Maybe you have a, a more than one inlet for the high pressure from the pump, and uh, put a, a you know eighth inch pipe or or whatever. But uh, make sure you you block it down or stop it down to a sixty thou hole. And I'll tell you, I uh, hooked that up to a half inch line way back. You don't have to buy anything else; it will work. I I, I can't guarantee it, of course, but let's put it this way. I pounded this thing on the weekend. It was hot. The engine saw many times, well, you know, full temperature. And actually, unfortunately, the upper rad hose blew off. Oops. And it went 220. And it still started no problem. So, well, I didn't start it, actually. I towed it back and fixed it. But uh, no vapor lock. So, that's that key, is uh, the return line. So, don't knock your head against the wall. Put a return line in. Uh, make sure you got adequate vent, and uh, try and insulate your lines uh, to some degree. And I'm sure that pump is going to work. I can't say for fuel injection though. Um, that would be uh, uh, something that I'm not uh, uh, overly familiar with. I'm still, I must admit, quite old school that way. But I'm really happy with the cars going. Now, my little flicks, oh man, they were crying this weekend. Hell of a time trying to get it to hook. I uh, decided to take uh, seven degrees of timing out uh, when I let go of the tranny brake. So I've got an off delay timer and uh, uh, it's set for about a second and a quarter, I, I believe. So it stays, it pulls the timing back, uh, what, um, 29? 20 to 29 degrees when I leave the line and then it goes up to full timing uh, for the rest of the run but I haven't got the timing very far ahead because I'm running pump gas but still when 1024 at 3550 pounds and uh, well I'm pretty happy about that so make a long story short it's a success but I am going to uh, make a modification and I'm going to put a sensor right here right there 
and uh, it's going to be a temperature switch. So um, just in case there's a problem and God forbid I forget to turn the fuel uh, water pump on. That's the water pump. The water pump on will come. The water pump will come on automatically um, once it senses a temperature. Um, I don't know. I'll see if I can find a, a switch that could sense 160 degrees or something, and it'll turn the water pump on. I've got a relay right here. I believe that's for the water pump, right there. So. Uh, I'll rig it up that way so I can turn it on manually if I want to run it in the pits, cool it down, or um, it'll come on automatically if I forget to turn the water pump on. And God knows that's happened once or twice. Well, anyway, enough of my babbling. You guys, uh, you take care. I'll uh, try and uh, update you again on uh, some other project that I'm working on. And maybe from time to time some drag racing as well. But like I said, this past weekend was great. I won my class. The car, well, uh, it ran great. Um, had a lot of fun. So I'll talk to you guys later.